Hi students and welcome back to computer practice with Mr. H and today we're going to do more if calculation. This video is specifically for computer practice in six students um, of all of the TVET programs that you can find that does computer practice. Okay, so let's go in this. The first activity that I want us to do is activity nine and you will find it in the Computer Practice in Six Textbook um, on page 200. And first of all, we're going to calculate the average. And we're going to take that average mark and we're going to determine, or we're going to use an if calculation to determine who passes and who fails the test. So if I go into the, um, into the spreadsheet, here I have, we first need to go and work out the average. And to work out the average, it's just a normal average calculation. So it's equal average that you're going to use. And you're going to calculate the average of test one, test two, and test three. You're going to close your, your, um, your, your formula with a, with a bracket. And you're going to press enter. There's your first answer. And all that you do is you copy the formula down. All right. If we go back to our, to our question, we will be able to determine or read the formula. So we've worked out the average, and now what we need to do is we need to use an if function to determine if a student passes or fails. So pass mark is 40%. The words pass or fail should then appear next to the average mark. All right. So going back to our to our spreadsheet, so in this range over here, we need to determine, or not determine, but we need to put the word pass and fail next to the ones that pass or fail. So they need 40% to pass. So we know already that this person with 36 unfortunately failed, and this person with 44 passed. So this person is going to have the word fail written next to it, and this person is going to have the word pass written next to it. Now that's already a criteria of two different things. And that's exactly what if calculations are really, really good at. So putting my cursor in the, in the correct cell, I'm going to go to formulas and I'm going to select a logical. If calculations are logical functions. So if you use the if, you are going to get this dialog box. This is called a function argument dialog box. And it really is just asking you for three different things. It's asking you for what is your logical test, what is true, and what is false. A logical test, students, this is basically what is my argument based on? Where am I going to get my answer from? What is it based on? So we remember at the end of the day, we want to have the word pass fail written next to the averages. So whatever is going to be pass or fail is based on the averages in this case. So my logical test has to do with this range over here. Now you can do the whole selection if you want to, but sometimes it's better to just use just one style at a time. So, but we know that it's based on the averages. Now what about the averages? Because just having the averages there, it's not going to do anything much. So if you have your average, what about the average? We want to know who, who passed and who failed. And to determine that, we need to put a criteria in there. We have an average here. And if this average is more than 40, what will happen? What will happen? This is my criteria, more than 40. What will happen when, when a person has more than 40? Well, the person passes, has done that. So you can put pass there, the word pass. And obviously, if they, whatever is left will be a fail. And then you click OK. And you copy your formula down. All right. I'm going to do it one more time. Just so that we can understand this. 
So here I have, I put my cursor in the correct style. I click on the logical. Now this, remember, I already did the if. So now I can actually use recently used and I will find my if there as well. So everything that you've recently used, it will appear here under recently. So that's a nice little function to have because then you don't have to always go and look for it. Sometimes it takes a while to look for a specific thing under these things. And if you didn't know it was a logical test or a logical function, all that you could have done, you could have clicked on insert function and you can just type it in here if, click on enter and it will find the if for you. All right, so you didn't know how to do that. But now here's the function argument box again. So remember, the average, what we're looking for and what about the average? We are only focusing on the ones that have more than 40 or 40 and more. And if they have 40 and more, they will pass. And if they obviously the opposite of that will be the failures. And that's all that you need. And then you copy the formula. So that one was pretty simple. All right, now we can move on to the next calculation. So this is the one that you the next activity is activity 10 on page 201 in your textbook. So quickly go there, it's just the next page. And there's two very important questions there. There's more questions in your textbooks, of course, but I just focus on the actual if um, question. Now, the first if question there is if, sorry, use an if function to determine if a salesperson should receive commission. A commission is paid if the sales figures are more than 4,000 Rand. All right, so a person will earn a commission if their sales figures are more than 4,000 Rand. Display a yes or a no next to the answer. All right, so let's just basically Go there and see what, what this means. So yeah, I have a yeah, I already have something worked out. So what they mean is we need to determine a person who gets who will get who will get commission. And they only will get commission if the sales figure is more than four thousand. Not more than 4,000, the word no must be displayed. And then after that, we're going to also work out actually how much is the commission that they earn. So for now, I'm just going to delete this part here. We can actually do the calculation. Bring my cursor in the correct box. Style, sorry. I am going to go to formulas, and I know it's a logical if. I've already used an if. So I'm just going to go in there by recently used so that I can get my function argument box. The logical test is, what is my logical test based on? Remember, I want to work out who gets commission and who doesn't get commission. And those is determined by the amount of sales that were done. Remember? So it's all to do with the sales figures. As I said, you can do all of them at once or you can just work with one at a time. Sometimes better to just work with one at a time. So, sales figures. What about the sales figures? Those that are more than 4,000 Rand. What will happen to those that are more than 4,000 Rand? Well, they will get a yes next to them. In other words, they will get commission. And unfortunately, the ones that do not have more than 4,000 Rand. They will get a no next to their name. In other words, they will not get commission. Once you put in that criteria, then you click on OK and you copy the formula. All right, that was pretty simple. Now we get to, now they want us to work out what is the commission amount. Use the if function and the content of column D to calculate the commission of 15% on the sales figures. So what that basically means, students, is that these people, they will actually earn 
15% commission. They were, but they will only earn that commission if they, if they got more than, if they, if they, if their sales were more than four thousand rand. All right. So only the yes people will earn the fifteen percent commission. Now we need to go and work out exactly how much is that. All right. So this one is also very simple. I'm just going to use again recently used again and again. So this time, what is my logical test? My logical test is based on, if I go back to my questions, they said use the if function and the contents of column D. They're very, very specific here. So column D is this one, this row, the yes and the no. So we have to use this. This is our criteria. This is our logical test. So if D, D6 in this case, the first one, if D6 is equal to a yes, all right, what will happen? Well, if it's equal to a yes, we need to go and do the actual calculation, which is sales multiply by 15% to get the sales amount. But if you've noticed, there's a red um, problem here error message and it says hashtag name question mark so there's something wrong with the name here students please whenever you work with excel and you work you're going to have to do a formula and the formula has an actual word in it or it has text in it it's very important that you must use inverted commas Very important that you must use inverted commas. All right. I just need to quickly change my language to that one. And then I have the function to put in my inverted commas. All right. So that's very important. So I'm going to do it again. If D6 is a yes. D6, if it is equal to open bracket, um, inverted comma, yes, close inverted comma. If it is a yes, what must happen? Well, if it is a yes, then you take your sales amount and you multiply it with 15. As simple as that. And if it's a no, well, then they don't get commission, so it's a zero zero for them and then you click OK and there's your amount copied. So Adwinus, this person here from Balville branch earned 8,900 Rand in sales because it's 4,000 Rand more or if it's more, because it's above 4,000 Rand they will earn a commission and they will earn a commission of a thousand Rand. 335 rand. Okay, 1335 rand. Unfortunately, Basson, also from the Belleville branch, only managed to make sale of 1200 rand. Unfortunately, no commission for this person, and therefore zero commission amount. All right, let's move on to the next one. The next one is activity 11 on page 202 of your textbook. Use the if function to determine what commission each salesperson will earn. A person earns commission of 12% only if the sales figures are 600,000 Rand or more. This one is very similar to, to this one. It's just different. Okay, so it's very similar to this first question that we had here. But nonetheless, let's go and work it out.
So basically, it's this column here, the commission amount. And this one is pretty straightforward. If the sales figure are more than 6,000, they will earn a 12% commission. So, formulas. It's a logical if. Function argument. What is my logical test based on? It's based on the sales figure. What about the sales figure? Only those that are more than 6,000 Rand. All right. And if it's more than 6,000 Rand, the sales figure must be multiplied with 12%. Very important that you put the percentage symbol in there to get your answer. If it's obviously not more than 6,000 Rand, then a zero. They don't get any commission. Click OK. And you copy your formula. That one was pretty easy. That brings us to our next calculation, also our last one. And this one is activity 13 on page 205. And this one actually has, it's actually more a B lookup, but it also has elements of an if calculation also worked in. So use the V lookup function to determine the percentage commission. Format your answer to display it as percentage. All right, we need to use a VLOOKUP for this one. Now, students, a VLOOKUP, a VLOOKUP is always based on a table. It's the same with the HLOOKUP. Now, the reason why this is called a VLOOKUP is because in our table that we're using, the headings are on top of the table in a vertical manner. If it was a H lookup, the headings would have been on the side in a horizontal manner. But this is a V lookup, it is in a vertical arrangement. All right, that's why it's called a V lookup. V lookup, the headings are always on top. And a V lookup, if you take the V away, it just says lookup. So basically that is what it wants to do. It wants to do a vertical lookup. There's something in the table that you're going to need here. There's something that is in your spreadsheet that is based on the table. If you look here, here we have sales figures and here we have sales figures. But these sales figures are connected to certain commission percentages. So if you earn a 5,000 Rand commission, sorry, sales, you will get 5% commission. If you've managed to get 18,000 Rand sales, you will earn 18% commission. All right, so we need to determine based on the information that we have here, how much commission percentage this person will have. Right. Put our cursor in the correct cell. And we're gonna go to formulas and we're going to select, um, in this case, it's not a logical anymore. It's this time around, it's a lookup. And what kind of lookup is it? It's a V lookup. And if you can't find it in here, as I said, just go to insert function right at the bottom and you type in V lookup. All right, there it is. Click OK. Until you get this function argument box. And very importantly, four things are asked. But you only need to fill in the first three because they are bold if it's not bold it, it's not that really, not really that important okay so we're just going to fill in the first three to get our answer now the first thing it's asking us what are you looking up what do you want to look up what is your lookup based on well basically i want to look up look up the sales figures remember what you want to determine you want to determine the percentage commission and to work that out, you need to have your sales figures because your sales figures are based or your percentage commission is based on your sales figures. So lookup value is my sales figures. Always something that's in your spreadsheet. All right. All right. Now, the answer that you're looking for, where are you going to find that answer? In what table array are you going to find that answer? Well, I'm going to find it in this table over here. 
and please note i did not select my heading never ever select your heading right only select the content what column of this table are you going to find your answer in? the percentages is what you're looking for right you want to link this to that information so this is the first column of your v look of your table sorry and this is the second column of your table so in what column will you find the percentages well i will find it in the second column so you physically type in and that's all that you do. You click OK and you copy the formula down. And they also said that you have to format your answers according to formula. Sorry, to percentages. So that means you just change it to percentage. You can take the decimals away because percentages usually don't have decimals. So there you have it. Let's see, 8,000 Rand is going to earn this person 10% commission. 8,000 Rand is equal to 10%. 15,000 will earn 15%, 15,000, 15%. All right. I think we should do that one more time. So I'm just going to delete this. I'm going to do it one more time. So we have formulas. And we know it's a, I'm going to use recently used, it's a VLOOKUP. What is my lookup value? First of all, I want to work out the percentage commission, right? And the percentage commission is based on my sales figures. My VLOOKUP is my sales figures. All right, your answer, your percentages, where are you going to find it? You're going to find it in this table. All right, what column in the table in column two of the table? That's it. You click OK. And you copy your formula down. Now I'm going to move on to the next one, which is the commission amount. The amount commission or commission amount is equal to the sales figures that is multiplied by the percentage commission. All right, so let's see. The commission amount is equal to the sales figures multiplied by the percentage commission. All right, that's easy. So it's equals 8,000 multiplied by 10%. Enter, and there I have it. 10% of 8,000 is 800 Rand. Now I'm going to use the next one. I'm going to work out all sales agents with sales figures that are more than 15,000 will receive an extra bonus. Now you must put a yes or a no next to that column. Very similar to what we've done earlier. Basically, everyone that earned more than 15,000. Let me just go and read that again. All the sales agents with sales more than 15,000 will receive an extra bonus. Now we need to determine who's going to get an extra bonus. And only the people that are more than 15,000 will receive an extra bonus. So it's this one, this person, this person. So it's only three people actually. So let's see who's going to get and who's not going to get. We must put the word yes next to it. Now, if you've noticed, it's no longer a, a VLOOKUP. We are now again back with to an if. So recently used if. How are we going to determine this logical test? Again, this, the test is based on the sales figures. What about the sales figures? The ones that are more than 15,000 Rand. What will happen to the ones that are more than 15,000? They will get a yes next to their name. And those that are not will get a no next to their name. Simple as that. You click OK. And there's your answer. All right, so what we're now going to do is we're going to work out how much is the extra bonus amount that they're going to get. Now, if we go back to our question, let's see. Use the if function to calculate the extra bonus amount. Now, this is 5% of the sales figure only 
if the sales agent qualifies for it. All right, so let's see. If the sales figure, sales, sorry, salesperson or agent qualifies for an extra bonus, they will have an amount here. And that extra bonus is based on based on the sales figure, but we get they will earn another extra 5% on that. So to work that out, we're going to go to an if calculation. And our logical test is going to be based on the sales figure. But what about the sales figure? If the sales figure is equal, sorry, not the sales figure, if it's the extra bonus, they'll get extra bonus if they if, they, if it's a yes next to their name. All right. So it's that amount, so it's the extra bonus, if it is equal to, equal to a yes, all right, what will happen if it's equal to a yes? Well, then the, um, the sales figure, Will be calculated with another 15 percent so it's sales figure multiplied by five percent if it is not a yes a zero will be there so let's copy down the formula there's our answer The total commission, so it is this commission plus the extra bonus amount will give you the total commission, which is the normal sum. So equal sum commission plus extra close bracket enter cop. Right. So there you have it. These ones are just normal auto sums. So you can just use an auto sum for this one. Press enter and copy. And there's your calculation complete. Of course, you can watch this over and over and over until you understand the crux of it. Do it with your textbooks, please. Practice, practice, practice. And uh, you will start to get the hang of this very, very quickly. Join me in the next video, please, um, where we will be discussing how to do a graph or a chart in Excel based on a question paper. But please, students, don't forget to subscribe to this video and also use the notification bell. Activate the notification bell so you can be notified when I do post new videos. Okay, thank you so much for watching.